Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Bass Assassin. I'm coming at you on this beautiful day. It looks like it's about to rain. Um, day to share my Camaro um, to everyone on the internet, and I'm gonna do this kind of quickly before all the neighbors come out and think it's weird for me to be filming my car. But anyways, I have a 2001 Chevy Camaro. It's a V6 3.8 liter. Um, it's in blue. Just walk around it here. Um, I'll be going over our, all the details of the outside and inside and stuff I do plan on doing to it because I do plan on doing a like update video every now and again to show you stuff I've like done to the car or put on it. So, um, let's get into it. Let's start at the hood here or the bumper, front bumper. Um, I don't know if you can see this. You probably can. Uh, it's really scratched up over here and it's scratched up there. I did not buy the car like that. Um, my mom, uh, I was parked behind my mom in the driveway and she backed into my car. Um, scraped up the bumper and a little bit of the hood here. I don't know if you can see that, but she scraped that up a little bit. Um, she said she would fix that, so I'm going to get that fixed before we, I head off to college. So that's no big deal. I'm not paying for that. I do have to clear up these headlights. They're a little bit foggy. Um, these windshield wipers are starting to streak and they're old, so... I'm probably going to replace those. Um, it is a T-top model. Very, very nice. They do not leak, which is nice. Um, you see back here, I got Magnaflow exhaust tips. These are 22 inch, 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch inlet. I do plan on getting these replaced because I do think they kind of look ugly sticking way out this far. And I don't like the 15 degree cut they have on it. Um, you're probably noticing there's a trailer hitch right there. Yes, I know. What could you possibly tow with a Camaro? I do plan on getting that removed as soon as I possibly can because I do not want to have a trailer hitch um, sticking out of the back of my Camaro because, you know, it's a sports car, not a, not a truck. Um, there are a few things I've already done to the car in terms of upgrading. Um, the first one would be the uh, Camaro... I don't even know what to call this. It's the... Uh, this is usually, uh, it's a, like a, it's a cut into the bumper, and it's the same color as the car, and I, I saw some other cars on the internet that had these, like, little chrome pieces that go in the car, or, like, in the little bumper spots right there, and it's, um, I bought some of those and put them in there, and I think they look pretty sweet. Um, what else? Um, I did the radio inside, um, oh yeah. Uh, the rims are 17s on there right now. Um, they're the ones that come with it. I don't know how thick those tires are, but they're pretty thick. I do plan on putting uh, new rims on this at some point. I want to put the Torque Thrust 2s or 1s on here in 18 inch. I'm going to see if I can get them in 18s in like chrome. And then thinning uh, to get that tire a little bit thinner because I think, you know, rims, you know, aftermarket rims with the tire that thick this is going to look pretty silly. Um. Other than that, um, I guess I can, you know, get in the car now, show you the inside, and then I'll give you an exhaust clip. Um, it is a V6, so there's not a whole lot of uh, grunt to it, but anyways, here's the inside. Um, this car was super clean when I bought it. Um, back seats there, super clean. Um, I do have to replace the uh, speakers here and uh, over there because they're blown. Um, my friend thought it would be because my after the other radio the guy had in here wasn't putting out enough wattage but I put a new one in as you can see right there I put a new one in and it didn't fix the problem so we do have to uh, put in more uh, put in speak put in new speakers. Yeah, here's the inside of the car. I usually keep it super clean. I try to vacuum it at least once or once every week or two weeks. I keep it nice and clean. The car has 118,000 miles on it. Um, it runs synthetic mobile one. Um, people were probably wondering what all these switches do did. I actually cut the wires to them because they really didn't do anything. Um, they ran a uh, radar detector, neon lights. Um, Hypertech program, or not Hypertech program, some other like little thingy made. 
It's a computer thing. You could like cancel out uh, check engine lights and stuff. Really had no use for it. And one of them did nothing. And um, he didn't have the radar thing hooked up. He didn't ha doesn't have neon lights anymore. And I have no use for the uh, the cancel a check engine light. So um, yep, the air conditioning works. Um, I have the little T-top covers in now. I'll take them out in the winter because it's too hot to have you know two big glass windows in front and back and then have the you know the t-tops open too your car will just heat up and it's already super hot during the day so um he did put an aftermarket uh shifter on here if someone could tell me how you take the stock one off here and then put a new, uh, new one on that'd be greatly appreciated um because my dad has a camaro and he has the stock shifter on here and we have no idea how to take the uh stock um shifter off shifter knob and yes it is a uh, automatic i would definitely 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 prefer a uh, a standard but you know you gotta take what you get um there's a cup holder there a cup holder there cd holder more cup holders there back seats doors are in good shape except for over here there's a little bit of uh i don't know if you can see that looks like there's super glue in there because this might have popped out and this is cracked and that's really the only defect in this inside of this car. Um, got my little class thing hanging there as rear view mirror. Teep tops again. Let me get out. I'll do an exhaust clip for you and then I'll show you the engine and then we'll be done with this video. Uh, it's probably going to be kind of bad sound because it's a terrible camera. that is um so if someone could you know also in the comments try to help me figure out what that is um that'd be greatly appreciated yeah that's the exhaust sounds mean for a v6 especially when you get up around 3,000 500 4,000 rpms it really sings and it sounds nice let me show you the under the hood and then we'll be done with this video So it's nothing special, it is a V6, like I said, 3.8 liter, um, this is an aftermarket, uh, it's a little air filter, there's a can and air filter in there, uh, I mean everything else is pretty clean, uh, energizer battery, and this is extra oil, so my oil pan does leak a tiny, tiny bit, but it's not enough to really notice anything, I mean other than that, the car is super clean. Uh, it is nice, and I do like how the hood props itself up. I don't have to pull any little things up, so I'm happy about that. Um, yep, that is my car. It's my 2001 Chevy Camaro. So yeah, we'll be making little videos here and there, uh, like I said before, following my upgrades to the car. So if you see another video with my Camaro in it, it's due to upgrades. So thanks a lot, guys. I will see you guys later.